Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about PSO tuning of AC and DC voltage controller of Statecom for improvement of power quality, the power system. So this is a simulation model we created for the Statecom with the with with this power system, right? Uh, the system uh, voltage is operated at 15 kilovolt. So this is uh, voltage source. So voltage source having 15 uh, kilovolt, 60 hertz, and then uh, this is uh, source resistance and inductance, and then here we have 21 kilometer feeder, and here we have 2 kilometer feeder. So in between uh, 21 kilometer and uh, 2 kilometer, we have a load. The load having 3 megawatt load at the uh, 3 megawatt real power load and 0.2 megawatt capacity load ok and then uh, here we have bus number 3 here we are going to convert that voltage level from 50, 15 kilovolt to 600 volt so here also we have real and variable load so here you can see that here we have 1 megawatt load and so here we have a variable load so this load will be turned on uh, uh, with respect to this timing right <laughs> and voltage of this load is 600 the operating frequency frequency will be 60 hertz so this is 1 megawatt load so rated voltage is 600 and frequency is 60 hertz and in bus number 33 right here we are connecting that uh, state comp okay so this is state comp the state down going to be connected to the uh, power system via this transformer parallel transformer so this is uh, voltage source converter and the uh, capacitor okay so this voltage source converter will be controlled by by means of state comp control so here we are going to use the state comp for the voltage control that means we are going to control the uh, load voltage okay so we have to make the load voltage always constant irrespective of the source voltage okay any deviation in the source voltage should not be affect the load voltage so we have to maintain that load voltage always one per unit okay so for that we have to use state comp to make that uh, load voltage always one per unit so for that here we have this controller state comp controller okay so in state comp controller go inside so here we need to measure uh, dc voltage okay so you have to measure dc voltage that means dc link voltage of this capacitor and then we need to measure the the state comp voltage and current okay so this will be input for this the state comp controller so go inside right so here we have <laughs> controller so here we have uh, three controller right one is ac voltage regulator another one is dc voltage regulator okay so here we are going to measure the so this is known as reference ac voltage and then here we are going to measure the, the voltage of the state comp okay so based upon this reference voltage and the actual voltage from the state comp right we have to generate a IP reference so this is going to be controlled by means of PA controller right so here we need to uh, tune this PA controller parameter like KP and KA okay and also here we are taking the error right that means we are taking absolute error okay and here we have to tune this KP KA in the AC voltage controller and also here you can see that we are going to measure the, the capacitor voltage or DC link voltage of the state comp and it going to be compared with the reference voltage okay so and also it going to be processed via PA controller and here also we are going to take the uh, absolute error okay so here also we are going to tune this KPKE based upon this absolute error okay so that means uh, here the our objective function is to minimize the absolute error okay in the ac voltage regulator as well as the dc voltage regulator 
and here you can see here that AC the DC voltage regulator and provide the detail of ID okay and AC voltage regulator, regulator provide the detail of IQ okay so then it going to be processed via current controller so that means this is a, a direct axis and quadrant axis current controller okay and then finally we are getting VDVQ that based upon VDVQ we are going to generate the modulation signal or control signal okay and then the control signal based upon that control signal we are going to generate the reference voltage the form of ABC so finally this reference voltage will be controlled this voltage source converter okay uh, so both voltage source converter in the average model so it will take this reference voltage based upon this VDC and then this voltage right this point voltage right so here we are going to use that PS algorithm particle sum optimization for tuning out the DC voltage controller and uh, and DC voltage controller so here we are so this is a detail so here we need to see that the reference voltage of AC voltage controller is one so here we are going to do only voltage regulation that means we are going to uh, mitigate the problem in the uh, grid side voltage in order to maintain road voltage always constant okay and then DC voltage set point so this is a reference voltage of the uh, a DC voltage controller so here we are going to tune KP and K of the AC voltage regulator and here we are tuning the KP and K of the DC voltage regulator okay so from that AC voltage regulator and the, uh, DC voltage regulator you have to measure absolute error so that when be taken as the objective function so from PSO will provide KPK value for that AC and DC voltage regulator so based upon that value so it will be simulated and then you have to collect the absolute error data for AC voltage controller and DC voltage controller based upon that absolute error so PSO will be provide the optimal result so here we create that uh, program so here you can see that so this is a P PSO program so here you can see that it's a number of variables for because we need to tune that KP K of the AC and DC so total uh, decision variable is 4 and then so here we are uh, taking maximum number of iteration is 10 number of population is 100 and then the factor P of parameter so here we are mentioning and then we initially you have to find out that then we initially, initially you have to generate the population so for that population you have to calculate the cost function and then you have to find out a local best global best and local population and global population and then it comes to iteration so here is comes to iteration so here you have to apply that velocity function and update the position and then you have to calculate the cost function so the iteration will be go, go that mean it will go up to 10 iteration and then it will be provide the better result ok so here you can see here this is the uh, tracking function of that uh, uh, that means objective function tracking for that ps algorithm ok here we are going to calculate the absolute value of uh, AC voltage controller and uh, DC voltage controller that means absolute error ok So now I am going to execute this code. Okay. So here you can see that uh, the simulation will be running. Okay, for each uh, uh, population, right, from the PSO, so it going to calculate that the uh, z value, right? That means absolute uh, error, right? for both AC and DC voltage regulator so after a couple of iteration of completion of iteration right so finally it will be uh, generate the best value okay that mean uh, so here you will get the best solution for the PAD controller parameter right so that mean after completion of 10th uh, iteration right 
we we will get that uh, kp and kf for ac voltage regulator or ac voltage controller and kp ka for a dc voltage controller so that can be taken for the best optimal value for that uh, particular model right okay so it will take time for uh, completion of um, that mean optimization so already we simulate everything and uh, the data stored in the in final <coughs> so here okay here uh, i uh, save the data here so here you can see that we are getting that best uh, the value for kpka so not this one so this one so this is a value of kpka and kpka for this is this is for a <coughs> ac voltage controller this is for a dc voltage controller okay so normally it will take uh, a long time to compute that uh, optimization after optimization finally result will be stored here so that result will be save as the mat file okay so now i am going to simulate the model okay that mean so here i am going to simulate this model and then we are going to check the result so here you can see that the amplitude of this was voltage right so here we are creating that is second swell so at the point 2 second we are creating the voltage swell and at point 3 second we are <coughs> creating voltage sag right and then you have to check the result so here i am going to measure the uh, bus 1 voltage and the bus 3 voltage okay and then uh, dieseling voltage so this scope is to for measuring source voltage and uh, load voltage and uh, dieseling voltage and then this is for measuring the uh, the voltage and current of the state com so here you can see that so this is going to be used for measure the the magnitude of uh, bus 1 and then voltage magnitude for the bus 1 bus 2 and then so here i am going to open this so this is state com voltage so this is grid voltage and load voltage so here you can see that i am going to expand this in three graph so here you can see that uh, so initially the voltage will be more than uh, one that mean so already we create a voltage level for source will be 1.0 okay already they have a voltage sag right so from this uh, waveform so you can easily understand the concept right so here you can see that initially they have sag right around 0 0.07 okay and you can check, uh, check the load voltage right it will be maintained constant right throughout the one period okay so here you can see that there is large changes in the voltage profile so here you can see that there is reduction in the voltage profile right so even though changes in the uh, grid voltage or source voltage right so load voltage try to maintain it to one period okay so here you can see that the variation right so we will see that variation here so we will see that variation right so here you have variation voltage variation swell variation and then this is sag right so here you can see that the load voltage always maintained at the one period okay and also here you can see that the dieseling voltage or capacitor voltage maintained around 2400 always because of uh, PSO tuned uh, DC voltage controller and uh, AC voltage controller. So, this is because of AC voltage controller, PSO tuned AC voltage controller. So, this is because of PSO tuned DC voltage controller. So, this here you can see that so variation of uh, uh, state com voltage once again. So 
so this is variation of state comes voltage right voltage and uh, current okay for uh, mitigating that uh, voltage uh, voltage as uh, wagon as uh, voltage sag and so in the source side right so because of the uh, state come right and uh, that voltage problem will be mitigated in the system okay so this is working of uh, the piece of tuned pa uh, pa based ac and dc voltage control of state come for improving the power quality more specifically specifically here we are improving the voltage quality of the system okay thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye